Hello, this is my review on Tonaka Hyuki, released in late summer of 2006. He's the Toa of Stone. Now, first of all, I'll review the canister, and then we'll go on with the actual figure itself. Here's the canister with the age range, the product ID, the count of pieces, the warning, and here's his artwork, his cover art, and here's the other thing, his damage spray launchers are stored here on the top. Then there's the um, sword that he uses, you can, it, it says here, try me, and you press the button and it flashes. You can, the batteries are changeable. So you don't have to worry about that. And here's the back of the box. Canister. He actually, um, he's in a different stance. You can put him in the canister. Like the other old set. Then there's the rest of the Anika. Going down from the other five and Voyanu, the Kanoka Clip code, and also more warnings, and here's one where it talks about washing the pieces of the figure, don't dump it in the water, wipe it off with a fabric or paper towel. And now let's move on to the inside of the box, of the canister. First of all, you have to pull it out. Okay, I got it open. Here's the part where you store your canister launchers and your light up sword. I know it's not a sword, but I just forgot the name of the weapon. Here, you know, the instruction manual. Shows the same artwork as the canister, as you can see. Here you can sign up for the Lego Club, shop and home, Bionicle website, the Bionicle Heroes video game, the Titans, Axon, Bataka, Vezon, and Fernak, Paraka, and the playset. Here it shows how to put Yuki inside the canister, and here it shows how to put the batteries into the sword, and the pieces. And on the back it shows all the Nika from Halu, Kongu, Nupuro, Matoro, Yuki, right there. And Jala. Now, let's move on with the actual stuff. Okay, first of all, almost all the Nika look exactly the same. They have damage launchers. Well, the sprigs are a different color. As you can see, his are red. Like, Mikko, he has blue. Now he has green. And you can't see the others really well. Sorry about the glare. Now, here's his gun thing, whatever it is. It has a really good light. And on BZ Powered, it said that you should get the ones way in the back of the show, because then more people will set up the body to save energy, too. He has a very similar structure to the Mari. Well, yeah, the Anika came first to the Mari. Like, first of all, the Mari have almost the same length. 
it's just amazing. I mean, so they haven't changed much on the mind. I mean, look at the legs. And see. Now, look at Yuki. They're the same. Yeah, that's not, it's not much as big a deal. Yuki, his damage bit launcher has some, if the top piece always falls out, like when you want to shoot him, it's like this. Well, it usually does jump out. I like the damage bit launcher, it's pretty cool. Crop got one, but they don't have those. Things that keep all four in place. Now onto the head and neck. His mask is somewhat made out of rubber. There's his head. Not like any other head we've seen. It's a, a glow of energy and light. That's just how the Anika one is. The Mari came, it changed. The chain, you get to assemble it all by yourself, and I think that's pretty good. It kind of increases the feet count, and it gives you more time to build. Plus, I like how you can make your own damage spear launcher too. Pretty good idea. And then we move on to the arm. This piece, it, it's not. The, it was meant to be like this. Oops. I don't really like that, but at least it doesn't fall out. And the body, it's pretty, pretty cool. Almost all the Nike used it, I think. The feet, most people have the same feet. They're like four pointed, unlike some of the others, they're just different. I think they're like that on the Paraka. And other than that, I recommend to get at least one Toronaika, or two or three. Well, you should get them all. They're, they're all cool. Like, you cut. And you should get like a Paraka if you can find one, that is. I'll find the Anika. I found this pretty hardly. Somewhere. And after that, I'd say I'd rate this guy from 5. 5 out of 5 because He's just excellent. I mean, the Tolanica are cool. Some people may complain about it, but I don't care. I just like the Tolanica. Yeah, I mean, because of them, the price did increase a bit, but that's okay. It's no big deal. And that's my review on Tolanica Hukey.